Right, now I'm going to show you um, the other cast-on method. It's a knitted cast-on. Remember, this was a knitted cast-on, but we call it cable because the method I used gave us this cabled edge. This one's going to differ a little bit, and you will soon see the difference. So make your slip stitch, put your needle in, keep your tail, that's what we call this, in your left hand, tuck it out of the way. If you've got two tails hanging down here, you'll get confused. You may end up knitting with this one, and you don't want to do that. So just keep it out of the way to make it easy for yourself. To begin with, take your other needle, tension your yarn, your working yarn, put the needle into your slip stitch, the front leg, as usual, yarn around, as before, put the stitch on by twisting slightly, but don't take the needle out. Let it go straight away into that stitch you've just made. You better do that again for me. Okay. <laughs> the needle is in the front of the stitch, in the front leg. Yarn around, bring the yarn through, twist it slightly to be able to put it onto the point of your left needle. And you see there, you can see inside that stitch, can't you? Yes, yes. yes. I've, I've just twisted it to put it on. You see in there, what we're going to do is not take the needle out. Maybe that makes it easier. Mm -hmm. I'm not taking the needle out. I'm keeping it in. And I've pulled up the tension with my right hand when it's in comfortably. Yarn around. Put it on the needle. Exaggerate it. You see, the needle stays in there all the time. Pull up the yarn. Okay, yes, that's clear. So in this sense, this is a very easy stitch. It's easier than the last one. So, yarn around the needle. Put it on. Put the needle in. And keep it in. I'm just speeding it up now. Perhaps I'm using my index finger of my left hand to hold it to make it easy to get the needle into that stitch like that. Yes, I was. I'll do one more to show you. Yarn around and then I'm bringing my index finger up so it keeps that open. Okay, now I'm going to leave the needle in there to do the first stitch, the, the first row. So knit the first stitch and continue along that row. And already I'm experiencing what I don't like about this particular method of cast on. Can you see that gaping there? That, that space that's being made. So it's loose, is it? I don't know that it's loose. It's just baggy. Maybe baggy is loose. It's not nice and crisp and even. I suppose it's even, but it's evenly... That's a big space in there, which we didn't find with the other one. What will be the effect with that bagginess? What will that do to the finished garment? Well, I think it makes it untidy and I think it would create an edge that is too loose. Anyway, I'll just do a purl row and I'll show you how it looks compared to the cabled edge, which is exactly the same process. It's just that this one goes into the front leg of the knit stitch, whereas the cabled one goes behind both legs of that stitch, between two stitches. So this one might be considered easier because you can keep the needle in the stitch when you put it the new stitch. When you put it onto the needle, you can keep the working needle in it. But I see what I don't like here.
see the difference? Yes. Those Some holes. holes. <laughs> <laughs> and here we've got the cabled edge that I did. Now I haven't been counting the stitches so please don't look at these and think you know that they're the same. I've just been casting on whilst we've been speaking. So that's very much looser as you said and because of that I think it will it could result in being uneven. There is a way to counteract that and that is when you do your first knit row instead of knitting into the front leg you would knit into the back leg. That effectively twists the stitch which uses up some of that excess yarn you've got in there. But why add an extra process for yourself? Why have to remember to do that? And it's not easy. You know, If you're a beginning knitter you might not find it easy to knit into the back of the stitch every time. Let me show you. So it looks more awkward. It is. If you you know, if you are only just getting used to holding two needles at once and tensioning yarn and it it might sound an easy thing to do, but when you're just learning to do it, it's a lot to hold on to, it's a lot to have going on. Now if I had done that on the first row, you can see how it's tightening the stitches that we've got on there. If I'd done it on the first row, it would have tightened up this and you wouldn't have this gaping. And when you are an experienced knitter, you can do that without looking. You know, we, we can knit without looking when we're experienced. But to begin with, I think that's not. If it were a decorative stitch, it would be different. You know, if you thought, right, I want that nice decorative edge, it would be different. But I personally don't use it, so I can't tell you how stable it is. I can't tell you how long-lasting it is. 